All right. So, uh, I, I guess good morning. It's 8.36 a.m. I figure I want to try to get some work done now before I do all my other stuff later. So, I just got a burst of inspiration right before I hit the record button. And I actually, you know, it's been a long time since I've been an old format that YouTube video. Don't worry, we're not doing that, right? Yeah, because obviously it's going to be about Seifu. Uh, but, you know, this is still important to me personally because, you know, I just want to know what's going on, you know, big picture wise, right? You know, what are normies doing? And right now, normies don't care about, you know, Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies in general, right? Uh, but they definitely care about inflation. I mean, let's look at this clown show, right? This is inflation. It's basically all time high. And hyperinflation, you know, it has spikes. So now this month of March 2022, people are starting to feel the pinch again. And it's going to get much, much worse. Not surprisingly, the fun index is like kind of nutty. So there's just a lot of crap going on right now. You know, Russia supposedly says, oh, nice things are happening in Ukraine or whatever. So whatever. So I guess people are pricing it out. I don't know. I mean, like Rick said, like they're going to drag out the Russia-Ukraine stuff, right? So I don't know. But on the other hand, Russia kind of already kind of basically owns the Ukraine. So who knows? But I think it's really because of the 10-year yield. It's basically settling above 2%, like Greg said, and then the markets, you know, really likes that. But you can't, you're not supposed to know that, and they can't say that, so the, so, you know, the fake news terrorist media here will just say, oh yeah, it's because, you know, nice things are happening in Ukraine, maybe it'll be over, so, which is, I think, kind of bullshit. Plus, they don't want it to be over anyway, because the longer the Ukraine-Russia conflict drags on, the more arms dealing, the more money they make, the more debt creation, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? There's a huge financial incentive be able to keep it going, right? You can thank World War II for that, because that's when this military-industrial complex thing really started, right? Which kind of makes sense because it was a real war. You needed all this military hardware, and then what? What happened, right? You know, the economy basically went through the roof, right? A lot of money was being made, so that probably was the start of all this corruption that we still now have to deal with today. So that's just how it goes. Okay, so they got a market watch, so they paid for uh, and Benzinga. So it looks like Safe who actually paid for some paid articles on Yahoo Finance, News, Market Watch, and Benzinga. I kind of heard of Benzinga, but I, I never use this site because it's just, it's such a weird word to pronounce. It's like, yeah, whatever, I'll just go to Yahoo Finance. You know, as much as I don't like fake news, all right, at least I like using this because it has everything that I need, like the actual data I need. And I could kind of just see what, you know, overall, what are the fake news people, you know, doing, right? Because I know this is all a distraction, right? Look here. Don't look over there, right? You know, so, and obviously I want this, you know, the purpose of this channel is not only to make you richer, but get closer with God, Jesus Christ, and of course, ultimately find out what's really going on in the world, right? Don't believe any of this bullshit. It's always a lie. All right. There's a reason why people are struggling and they continue to struggle because that's on purpose, right? You know, if you're worried about Russia, Ukraine stuff, you're not focused on the fact that your rent's going up like 5, 10, 15 percent, right? You're not noticing the fact that your savings are constantly dying, right? And you're making no money. You're not noticing the fact that like you can't get ahead in life, right? You must always be distracted and full of fear, right? Because, you know, they only need to distract you from this. Look. This is why hyperinflation is going out of control. This is the money supply. And look, oh, it continues to go up. Oh, there's multiple money supplies too. And they're all going up. <laughs> okay? This is, the, this is the Federal Reserve asset balance sheet. After they said they were going to dump their, their holdings. No, they're not. Look at this shit. It's a, it's a 45 degree angle. <laughs> Here, this is almost a 90 degree angle straight upwards, man. <laughs> it's like... You know, I, I understand why Greg Manorino gets mad, you know, it's because, yeah, they're, they're literally lying through their teeth. They tell you, oh, we're going to do this, and they do the complete opposite. And, like, most people don't even know what this is. Like, how, how do you read this, right? So, but, you know, in the meantime, you know, they'll manipulate the markets, they'll manipulate the dollar, they'll even manipulate cryptos, because this thing is high. I mean, look... I mean, at this point, I don't know what to tell you. Like, if you don't believe cryptocurrencies across the board are manip hyper manipulated, not just manipulated, 
I don't know. I don't think you have what it takes to make money because you'll just eventually be fooled by, you know, the next scammer, you know? So it's like, you know, because you have to constantly ask yourself, why is everything going up and down with Bitcoin at the exact same time? And all the time. I'm sure you've at least noticed that for years, right? I always had a suspicion that it was manipulated, but it definitely was confirmed after 2017 when the futures markets came out and then crypto and then Bitcoin tank. Because that's a, that's that's what happened. Greg Manorino's videos at the time actually mentioned that. He said, I don't like Wall Street getting into the futures markets for crypto because I think it's bad. And then he dumped all his holdings and he told everyone. All right. I didn't know about that at all at the time. I had a different analysis, but I came to the same conclusion. Right. It's like, yeah, this thing is too high. Right. Too much, too much interest uh, in crypto. I was also looking at Google Trends at the time. Like, hey, this is all time highs and it keeps going higher. I don't like that. We should probably, and I even had some of my friends at the gym at the time that who, who are no not, who know nothing about crypto ask me about XRP. I was like, uh oh, <laughs> I told them it's pretty hard to get. I, I told them, okay, like, but I told them, maybe you want to hold off because I think too many people are getting into it and it might crash. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. I, I don't know. It's like, okay. So I helped him. He didn't happen to be a Russian by the way, but he's a cool guy though. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to start dumping. Yeah, and look, I called it, right? We, we The f people who know what they're doing called it. I called it. Greg Manorino called it. I'm sure a couple other people called it at the time, right? Because I called it back in November. I mean, I think my videos are still up on my old YouTube channel. So that's just how it goes, man. But things are obviously different now because things are more mature. There's more infrastructure in place. There's more manipulation, therefore. And again, that's why I don't like these uh, so-called regulations. I'm still trying to... See I mean, I don't know what it is with the with the Joe Biden executive order thing, because that should have, like, it pretty much was a nothing burger, at least from what I can tell, but the markets are reacting differently. And then you got, and then you have to factor in manipulation, so I don't know, man, but we'll just keep making money, we'll keep extracting profit from the markets, because that's what everyone else is doing, meaning the elite and the evil rich people. So, you know, well, they play their game, we'll play ours, unfortunately, you know, and then we'll just, uh, you know, we'll wait to see uh, what happens uh, later this year in November. But even if everything goes well, <clears throat> it's going to be a while before, you know, the governments run by actual good Christians, you know, can actually do something positive, right? Because remember, this gargantuan beast has been in play for a long time. So like, oh, like really more like 100 plus years, maybe 200 plus years. It's not going to be fixed overnight, so. All right. Anyway, so that's like the broad overall mark. Because I'm not only going to do this video. Uh, I decided before I decided to try and maybe break my rule set a little bit, which is why I covered Ninja Money. Uh, technically, the project's still up, obviously, but yeah, I'm kind of noticing that like this is just uh, this is just too much high risk. You know, I can't be putting like you know projects up just you know just like that. You know, so I'm gonna make sure that the projects are clearly safe now and also on Yield Wolf for Tomb for Tomb Fork specifically. It's got to be on Yield Wolf unless there's clear social proof and multiple team members. All right, so yeah. But anyway, Seifu hasn't rugged yet. All right, and they've been out uh, since March first. So they've been out for 10 days. Yeah. So there's a four hour chart. And, you know, not only have I given it enough time, but it also had a nice, it has a, had a pretty nice correction. Like what, like it always should have, right? Cause you don't go straight up, right? It went from a launch price of like $15. That was the launch price. I can't even go, I can't even reach the top of this chart. All right. It's too high up, but basically we, I guess it reached like 334, 350 or something. I don't know. I can't even see. It's it's too high. It's too high up. So basically, this thing made like 11 trillion X, and then you know dumped like 50 percent from the top, and now it's consolidating somewhere around the 164 dollar range. So I figured this would be a good time to actually cover the video in case some of you might actually want to get into this. I'm personally just not going to do it because I don't like coins where one coin costs a crap load of money. Right? I don't like for a Titano fork with this kind of crazy APR. I prefer a lar I, I prefer a much cheaper price, right? Because it would suck to have bought at the top here, right? You know, I'm getting Metaverse Pro vibes now that I'm thinking about it, and then it drops all the way down. It's like it's. I know it's still percentage based, but there's just something like what would what, 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 
if you had a thousand dollars, right? What makes you feel worse? You really shouldn't feel anything because you know you're not supposed to have any emotions. But all right, if you put a thousand dollars at three thirty four, and then it tanks to like what it is now one hundred sixty three, one hundred sixty four, like doesn't that feel possibly more problematic for you than say if you bought Titano twenty cents, the same thousand dollars, and it drops to ten cents, so it's the same fifty percent drop as safe food here. Right? This is approximately fifty percent. Right? It's the same thing, but what makes you feel better? Right? Which would you be more comfortable with? I'd rather have the Titano. Because 20 cents to 10 cents, it's like, yeah, whatever. It's like, yeah, I know I lost half, but I mean, it's 10 cents to 20 cents. I mean, I spend like 50 bucks on food, or, or, you know, every three days. You know, that that's how you'll think. So, you know, psychologically, you know, it's not as devastating, right? At least to most, at least that's what I think, right? You know, the problem is I don't have a problem, like, I don't have problems with these price swings, but I'm the exception, probably. So that's, so that's why I just don't like doing this, all right? That's why I don't like high, high price coins, uh, like Seifu there, all right? And if I did buy high price coins, it's obviously going to be just the majors, like the actual majors, Binance, Ethereum, Bitcoin, right? And there are reasons why the, the, these are at the top, right? You know, or even Terra Luna, all right? All right, so anyway, now I remember off of memory that this fixed APY is actually not going to stay here forever, right? That's why we're going to have to actually look at the documents. And I'm actually going to do the research live on, on this video for you. So right now, it's like 383,000. Uh, I'm obviously just going to write, three. Th I'm going to write on my YouTube 383026, because I'm going to estimate this, because this <clears throat> these extra three characters uh, takes up a lot of valuable YouTube title space. So low risk, uh, you know, it's like this is their treasury. This compounds every 15 minutes, so you get 96 uh, compounds a day. And of course, just like Titano and every other Titano fork, it auto stakes and auto compounds. So just dump it in your wallet and you know set and forget, right? All right, so DeFi, blah, 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 you can look at the contract if you want. This is also on Binance Smart Chain. Uh, you can earn up to whatever. They have a pretty nice, snazzy-looking uh, website, so that's good. I know they have a pretty large team, too. So you could just keep look. You see, you look at the things. Okay, so they have a 14% buy tax and a 16% sell tax. And then this is the distribution of their thing. Now, what's interesting is they also have 2.5% auto burn on every transaction so yeah oh they have a very nice website <laughs> oh okay here we go uh okay so they have all this rug pull stuff anti-rug pull i should say oh so libero is actually still there okay so that's good oh wow maybe i should actually do a video on libero libero they also have a much higher tax system too so that actually makes it very sustainable. Uh, okay, no manual adjusting. I assume that means that's in reference to the taxes, fixed rebase time. Oh, liberal has a problem with rebasing. Oh, go figure. Also, isn't liberal on like a completely weird different blockchain? Yeah, I, I don't want to deal with that anymore. I'm already in like so many different blockchains now, I'm just getting overwhelmed. Manual token buybacks. Okay. I actually like this because now I can actually put this as, uh, in the YouTube description. Okay, so I guess I don't have to do any more research. <laughs> okay, I don't care about this. Has a, you do a full, K, um, okay, they have a KYC with Rug Doc and Assure DeFi. I guess they could eventually pay for a Solidity and Certic audit too. Another Titano fork. Uh, okay. Uh, they did, oh, so. They, <sighs> Yeah, there was the frog. So they created their completely own different source code. Wow. Minimal starting supply and the lower 15 minute compounding. How you sustain a large APY. Okay. So our supply is really small, right? They started small. That's why the price is so high. The auto burn at two and a half percent. The auto LP every two days, and the factory basing. Da, da, da. Market value will also have the treasury and the insurance fund. I assume this is more like 
the RF fee, risk-free value, but they just call it an insurance fund. That's my guess. APY will be 100%. Basically put, blah, 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 blah. We also have a unique and proprietary sale engine, which automatically injects an additional 4% liquidity every 48 hours to maintain the stability and blah, blah, blah. That is the LIC my place where the first level reduces. Okay. This is the, oh my God. This black, this white text on black background is starting to make me go blind. I don't know why it does that, because I actually like this uh, color. On top of this, we have the LIC, <coughs> LIC model, where after the first 12 months, the interest rate will go down over time. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so they have a... Uh, so this thing won't be here forever, All right? It'll start out as this, and then it goes down. That's actually how this... So basically, it's a lower-taxed... Uh, no... It's a lower APY Titano fork over time. So, so it's just like the old proof of stake coins. I used to, like one of my favorite ones back then in 2015 or 14, I guess, or 2016, was something called Compound Coin, where it started off at like 750% APR, and then 500,000, I mean 500, 750 APR a year, then 500, then 250, and then it, keep, it keeps going down. <clears throat> So basically, they're doing the same thing here. So that's how I actually know like it, it'll uh, work pretty well. Of course, that was back then. All right, and eventually the project died. I think they might still be around. Uh, but here, this is obviously different because you got like a bunch of you know you have much better technology, and of course you got the you have the tax system. That's the most important thing. So let's see how is the APY calculated? Okay, we don't really. Oh man. All right, there's only one thing I need to know from here because I actually didn't expect this uh, web page to actually have all the important info. Actually, I'm gonna, I think it's so distracting. <clears throat> Let me see. Okay, okay, so I gotta read this and then I'll probably wanna read that too. Um, this is more for my YouTube description, so I'll leave this here. Okay. I'm, I'm looking for... I know that they have to have a list. <clears throat> have a list. Yeah, see, yeah, they're gonna do a certic audit. Yeah, it's right. It's right. It's on the roadmap. I don't know. You can also look at all this other crap if you want to. Pre-launch sale. Uh, Beauty mathematics. Uh, where it? They had a thing where they would list what the tax rates will be over time. Oh, so it may not be in their white paper. It might actually be in their medium page. Oh, they're going to make me uh, do a little more. There we have, oh, okay. This is, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Oh, long-term interest cycle, LIC. This is what we're looking for. Okay. I'll probably also link to this uh, documentation page, actually. <clears throat> okay, blah, 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 blah. Each... <clears throat> okay, so there are... Th okay, so to them, an epoch is every 15 minutes. So that's the rebase period. So there's 35,040 of these every year. So in the first 12 months, the interest rate will be what it is now. And then in the, so this is now year two, within the first six months of year two, the interest rate will drop a whole lot by 90%. No, is that correct? Yeah, basically it becomes 10% of what it was the previous year. So this would actually be 38,302% approximately, because you just shift the decimal over. So this thing's actually going to go down a lot. Believe it or not, that could actually kill the project. I mean, yeah, it'll be very rare. I don't know. I mean, this is just very different from what they're doing. So it depends on what you want to do. And then after those six months are over, then basically for the next six and a half years, so year two, month six, and beyond, up until year eight, your APY is 0002 is going to go down not only by another decimal, 
So it'll be this. The annual APY will be 338.30, and then I have to halve this. So basically 1900 APY a year. <clears throat> and then after eight years, basically it pays almost no interest. So I'm, I'm not even going to bother to calculate this. I'm not even going to bother because your, your APY gets reduced by... I have to basically divide 2 divided by 14. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to... But basically, this APY is going to go 383, and then you got to reduce this, but... Oh, God, I guess I will calculate this. 1 divided by 7 times... 14.28 times 383. I fucked up. Hold on. 1 divided by 7. Uh, okay. Times 383. Thanks. What a shit website, man. Is this correct? Oh, okay. All right. So your at your AP, your annual APY is basically a little under fifty five percent a year. Okay. Well, I mean, this is only going to happen after eight years, right? So I mean, the real, I guess, the real interest rate, if you're a medium to long term holder, you have to really worry about is this one. So what did I say this was? Three thousand eight hundred thirty something percent a year. That's still actually pretty good. Right? Oh man, I already forgot the math that I've been doing. Alright, let me see. Yeah, it'll be 3,830% APY. That's really good. And on top of that, I don't know what the. I don't feel like doing the math either for the supply. But it'll still be pretty reasonable, and you'll still have that whole crazy tax system in place. So, this is more like a stable version of Titano. So, maybe this wouldn't be so bad. Alright? So, I don't know. So, yeah, one day it's 163, but over time, this actually becomes deflationary. And on top of that, they even said that there's a max supply to this. I should actually try to find that. Because I think I do remember them saying that. Excuse me. Okay, yeah, it says right here, it's a BEP20 token, automatic interest rates, over the lifespan of 13 and a half years. Until the maximum supply of 3.25 billion tokens has been reached. So there is actually a hard cap. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So I actually need to find selfies. Uh, yeah, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, trading fees, token. Okay. So, you know, I don't, I mean, I'm not going to link to this. You know, because I want to try to keep the links in the YouTube description low, but I will copy and paste this. Or at least I'll write it out. Okay, so I don't remember what I just said about the interest rates because I have other things to worry about. I actually want to go for a walk and then go to like Target or something and, you know, pick up some bread and mac and cheese. They actually have really cheap mac and cheese boxes for like 69 cents. <clears throat> so despite inflation, for some reason, Target, I don't know what the hell is wrong with my voice. Like, seriously, I don't, I don't know what, what the hell my voice's problem is. <clears throat> and it always does this in the morning when I'm talking, which makes sense because it's the morning. And I don't eat anything, it's drink water. Oh, that might actually be the reason why. Too much moisture. <clears throat> so... All right, so all right, so I'll figure out something. So you want to get into Zafu? This might actually not be a bad long-term hold, all right? Me personally, eh, I don't know. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, I should, but I don't have the I don't have any spare cash because it's already going into other things. So I'd rather just be you know super fast. And it actually occurred to me that it would actually still be better for me to keep doing Tomb Force because the APYs are hard, or yeah, harder but higher and much more liquid, but it's a much faster game. So, you know, I already have plenty of Titano forks, right? I got my Titano, I got a small bag of Poseidon, I've got Caesar, all right? I've got Sphere Finance when that launches on Monday, bar, uh, you know, 
assuming nothing, nothing like crazy happens. And eventually we'll have RS Finance. So, you know, you know, with that being said, <clears throat> I don't know. Like, how would this work? I mean, this is really just more like a store of value, essentially. So this could be a very interesting concept, right? This could be a very interesting concept, this website. So, I don't know. I guess uh, just check it out. Decide what you want to do with it. Mm, uh, oh, yeah, you want to buy it. I mean, they have this annoying little button here. But it takes you to Bog Swap, right? Uh, uh, I mean, Bog Swap's a really nice website, but I'm just so used to Pancake Swap. So, anyway, but yeah, I'm actually going to make you go to the website to get the buy link because you know, I don't want you guys and gals to just like, you know, FOMO in or something. I want you to actually do a little extra work so that like, you know, you make a, you make the right, this, well, you really don't make decisions because that's only God in Satan's realm, but you know, you'll, you'll know what to do, right? But you know, I want to make sure that, you know, you get off on the right foot, right? You know, because... Because if I just disappear one day, you know, what are you going to do, right? I mean, yeah, you'll find another YouTuber, but the idea is you want to keep yourself, you know, kind of working a little bit here and there. And I am going to go do that. Yeah, so anyway, my Firestone game requires my attention. So, all right, so anyway, check out Seifu Protocol. And they just call themselves Seifu. But yeah, it looks like a pretty solid project. It's obviously gigantic, right? They've got like a bunch, like they, I know they have a pretty big team and there's a lot of people and the pink sale just sold out instantly because of stupid botters. It is actually very, very annoying. So anyway, uh, that's that. I will see you all. Well, tomorrow's a lot of stuff going on. The rarer LP is technically out, I think. So I have to go check that. Um, Zombie Finance LPs will finally be live, and Arctic Fox uh, LP will be going live. So I don't know if I want to do videos at that moment. So today is Friday, and my family did ask me if I want to, you know, hang out this weekend. So I don't know. I honestly just do not know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure something out. Okay, so I actually don't know when I'm going to do the video because I definitely want to do the video on those new uh, pools I just mentioned. But however, it's literally at launch. Prices are going to be all over the roof and there's no Yield Wolf yet, right? I'll, even though I know that they'll release Yield Wolf probably within 24 to 48 hours. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it came out the same day because, uh, you know, because I actually asked in the Yield Wolf Discord, how they list projects. And they actually have the minimum requirement, and then after that, they just go out on a case-by-case basis, which makes sense. But Arctic, I mean, Snowy Owl and Grave slash Zombie Finance are already established already on Yield Wolf. So I'm sure Yield Wolf will have no problem, you know, they probably just have to do a quick check for, like, errors, and then they just set it up. So... Yeah, I think I will just simply wait for the Yield Wolf, and then I'll do the videos on it. Which kind of sucks because what if you guys want to actually get in on the, the, you know what, I'll figure it out. So, yeah. Anyway, check out Seifu Protocol if you want like a high priced, you know, Titano fork that like will have a hyper, that is actually deflationary uh, eventually. So, yeah, check it out. I'll, I'll write the description. I'm going to have a lot of text to write, so. Yeah, maybe I'll I'll definitely see you sometime in the next few days. I'm just not sure when the right time is to make the you know rare er video and zombie finance and oh wow, there's actually three videos I gotta do. Yeah, and then Arctic Fox, you know, because I actually have to do more research on Arctic Fox because they just released the documents, so I want to go through it. They're actually going with the same thing, and two uh, share is vested over just two months. But the advantage of that is it really hyperinflates your APY, your daily APR. So, and he's got the rebate system. So I think I actually know what they're doing. So, but I need I need more time to research it. So, anyway, I'll see you next few days, possibly tomorrow. I, I don't know yet, but yeah, thanks. Uh, and yeah, spread this video around. You know, help grow the channel. Which thank you by the way to all you new people. Yeah, this channel is exploding. So I'm really hoping that I you know can get the YouTube monetization in about a month. I think. Because I have to hit 4,000 watch hours now. 
Because it would be very annoying to have to just make a new YouTube channel. I'm just going to be so annoyed with that. But, I don't know, I, I think I should be fine. So, you know, we'll see. And I've been cleaning up the YouTube, like, old videos and stuff. And also removing some old gaming streams that, like, nobody watched. So, should be pretty good. I mean, I think should be fine. Yeah. Alright, see you maybe tomorrow or definitely within the next few days. You know, I'm going to... Hopefully, Yield Wolf will list very quickly all the new pools. Thanks.